Hey guys, Humans for Targets here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about bullet setback. Um, I've been getting quite a few questions on that, and I also wanted to go over another safety issue uh, concerning chambering and unchambering live rounds uh, and basically any semi-auto pistol. Okay, so first I'll start out by telling you what bullet setback is. Bullet setback happens from repeatedly chambering the same round over and over and every time the round hits the feed ramp um, after so many times it can cause the bullet to seat further into the case and what happens is is the bullet will seat down further into the case and now there's not as much space inside the case as there should be and when you try to fire the round it creates extreme pressure inside the case and can cause the case wall to fail and will rupture and split the casing right here and can also break your gun or cause other damage um, what I do is I only chamber the same round two to three times and after that I just take out the magazine and I put the the round that I originally had chambered two to three times I put that in the bottom of the magazine and the one that was on top of the magazine I use that one next that's how I try to rotate mine um, if you've chambered a round repeatedly like somebody told me that they have and you want to check to see if there's anything wrong with your round it's pretty easy to do just take both rounds and set them on something level side by side and if you can't tell by eye that there's a difference in the length of the bullet coming out of the casing then your round is okay okay now the other thing I want to talk about is concerning um, when you unchamber live ammunition. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things when they unchamber live ammo. Some guys take the gun like this and they put they cup the palm of their hand here and they pull the slide back and let it drop into their hand. I do not recommend doing that. And after I explain to you why you shouldn't do that, you'll probably see the light just like I do. Um, another thing guys try to do is rack the slide back fast and then the bullet flies in the air then they catch it. Um, that's a Hollywood thing. Don't do that with your gun. Now I'm going to show you why you never want to uh, unchamber around and put your hand over the ejection port at the same time. Okay, this gun's clear. No rounds in chamber. No rounds in magazine. I'm going to break it down here. this right here is your ejector this is what pushes the bullet out when the slide when the extractor holds it and brings the bullet back this hits the rim of the casing and the force from the rim of the casing hitting this causes it to go out of the ejection port you can see how pointy this is okay so when you're unchambering a live round you are that close to this hitting that primer you see how close that is right there is where it hits your casing see how close you are to that primer there have been cases where guys have had their hand shot through the ejection port because they were ejecting a live round and uh, instead of the rim hitting the ejector hit the primer. So you can see just how dangerous that would be with your rim being that close to the primer. Just that little... So if you want to be safe with your guns, remember how close that this ejector 
is to your primer when you unchamber a live round in any semi-auto. Don't put your hand near that ejection port because if you do, you might have an extra hole to hold your cigarette in. Humans for targets and I'm out.